Hello everyone, it's been a while since I did a video on Last Epoch and a few people have been asking me about it, so I'm just going to go over the current state of the game. So I'm currently in the beta 0.710b, and this is currently what's up. So if you don't know about Last Epoch and how it works, basically you choose a base class, and the one for, for Necromancy is Acolyte, and once you invest some points into Acolyte, you get to choose a Mastery. And there's a few Masteries available. We've got the Necromancer, which is basically about minions. You've got the Lich, which is all about dealing damage. And you've got the Warlock, which is unfortunately not ready yet. And I'm going to do a much more in-depth video once the Warlock comes out. Anyway, I went with Necromancer. I'll just show you some of the skills, the passive skills in Acolyte first. So we've got Blood Aura here that increases minion damage. And your damage as well. We've also got Stolen Vitality which increases minion health and your vitality. Crimson Gluttony, you and your minions have increased health regeneration. You also get Summon Burn Golem once you invest enough points. Spirit Plague, Hungering Souls, and Infernal Shade. Once you unlock Necromancer, you, you get access to the Summon Skeleton Mage. Sacrifice, there's a couple here I haven't unlocked yet, like the Dread Shade and the Assembled Abomination. These are both new, they weren't here when I was last playing. Risen Army increases minion damage. Knowing me, I take all the minion stuff. There's a lot of great things you can do to buff your minions. Increase the maximum number of skeletons. Yeah, there's lots of cool things you can do here. So let's take a look at the minions on offer right now with my current build. So I've got the three skeleton mages from the necromancer tree. And then for my standard skeletons, I've got Nine, I believe. Let's see. Eight. Eight skeletons, maximum. Yep. And in the pool, I've got the archers, I've got warriors, and I've got rogues. I'll just zoom in so you can see them. Mages are here. Rogues have the daggers. Skeleton warriors and skeleton archers. And one of the really cool things about Last Epoch is the skills themselves level up. So you can choose skills that you want to specialize in. And when you drag them in there, they start leveling up and you can customize them in brilliant ways. I'll just go through the skeleton real quick. So one of the things I did is I went this direction so I could get skeleton rogues. It basically just adds skeleton rogues to the pool of skeletons that you can summon. I also did something else. I went down here for some reason. Oh, probably to get more skeletons. Somewhere is the skeleton archer though. Or maybe skeleton archer is just default. It's changed a bit since I last played. They've done lots of changes. So yeah, the cool thing is that you've got this tree and you can customize your skeletons however you want them to be. There's stuff like Dread Phalanx where you can reduce the amount of skeletons you have but make them stronger. And you can also go in the other direction where you just have more skeletons. If we take a look at the Bone Golem, what I did is, well first of all you start out with a big Bone Golem. But what I did was, is I decided to get the twinned golems and that made two smaller golems instead of one big one and then I went further I went and got a blood golem because I wanted to have two blood golems but then I decided I'd actually like to have a bone golem as well as a blood golem so I went up here and I got the ivory twin and that means I can have both a blood golem and a bone golem and I'll show you how they look so here they are for some reason I've got two bone golems it's not meant to happen. Strange. 
Ah, there we go. I mucked around a bit and I finally got the blood golems. It's not working how I remember it. It used to work that I could get one of each, one bone golem and one blood golem. I don't know if that's a bug or just a new feature, who knows. In addition to the blood golem, you can also go down here and get a spectral golem, which I've been working towards, but I haven't got it yet. Anyway, moving along, we get to the summon wraith. I was able to customize that in some cool ways. What I did is, is I got a flame wraith, which adds a flame wraith to the roster of wraiths that gets spawned. But I also set it up so that the wraiths appear at the target location that I want, instead of just being random or however, or however it was before that. And I also increased the number of wraiths in exchange for an increased cooldown and a higher mana cost. So how that looks is, I can right click, and I get all these wraiths summoning in. There's the flame wraith right there, which is the most powerful one. So as you can see, you can get a pretty big army of minions in this. As for the wandering spirits, basically you do this and it summons all these wandering spirits that just deal damage to whoever hits them. Taking a quick look at that. I customized it so that they cost less mana, but have a higher cooldown. Ward is what you get as like a kind of a force shield. So I increased the rate of ward gain at the cost of less ghosts being revealed. And I increased the duration in exchange for longer cooldown. There's a lot of other things you can do. Lingering Souls to increase the spirit duration at the cost of more mana. Coming back to the skeletons for a minute, one of the really nice things you can do is you can decide to remove certain types of skeletons. Like this one, for example, you, you can get rid of the warriors, so that you just have rogues and archers. And there's another one somewhere where you can do the opposite. See if I can find it. I guess they removed it. I can't find it anywhere. Used to be able to do the opposite of that. So anyway, let's go and kill some stuff and I'll show you how that works. Summon some wraiths. Get the wandering ghosts going. I'm incredibly happy with the minions in this game. They feel strong. I can just run around like a dickhead not doing any work. Very optimal. One of the main problems of this game right now is it's a bit of a lottery if it works in your computer. For example, my friend bought it and it wouldn't even start for him. I've had another guy tell me who bought it that he had some kind of problems with it. It's always worked flawlessly for me, but it is an issue for some people that you buy the game and it simply doesn't work. What I would say is that if you buy it and you encounter that issue, see if you can report it on their forum or something and get it fixed, because it is an early access game and I find it a big shame that people are refunding such a good minions game over these technical issues. It'd be great if these could get fixed. And then it'd be great for the people with the bugs too, because then they can actually enjoy the game rather than having to refund it. Zoom in a bit so you can see those wraiths. I really think these guys look like those things from Pokemon. That little Pokemon dude with the skull in his head. So yeah, anyway, that's a pretty good demonstration of what's currently in the game, I suppose. I'll just go over some of the other skills, and then I'll wrap it up. So in the Acolyte, we've got Rip Blood. Marrow Shards, which is kind of like shooting bones at people. We've got Harvest, which is kind of like it spawns a scythe and swipes in the area. 
We've got Transplant. We've got Hungering Souls. Spirit Plague. Summon Skeleton you've already seen. Wandering Spirits you've seen. We've got Burn Curse. Detonate Corpse. Summon Bone Golem, you've seen that. Infernal Shade. Summon Skeleton Mage. Sacrifice. Summon Wraith. And then all of these ones that I don't have access to yet. Dread Shade. Looks really cool. Assemble Abomination. I can't wait to try that. Got the Lich stuff. Drain Life. Aura of Decay. Soul Feast. Death Seal. And Reaper Form. Most of these I haven't tried. I've really only looked into the minion skills. It's a bit of an off-the-cuff video just to show you the current state of the game. And when the Warlock comes out, I want to do a more proper video where I look into everything a bit more formally and in better detail. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one, hopefully. I've got more necromancy stuff coming soon.